In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom footprint. I'm going to create a footprint for the Atmel Atmega128, which is a 64-pin TQFP quad flat pack, that is. So the information you need to make footprints is typically uh, at the end of data sheets. So here you click on packaging information, and we're actually interested in this one right here, the 64A, which is Atmel's TQFP. Um, so these are all the numbers you're going to need, all the measurements you're going to need. Be sure to note the units here are millimeters. Uh, different data sheets have different units, so it's very important that you understand the units. Otherwise, you could have some serious problems. All right, so now let's let's start this by creating a new PCB project. So file new, I mean PCB library. Sorry, uh, library PCB library. You go to tools. We're going to use the component wizard. All right, let's click next. Click quad packs and millimeters. Now you have to select the size of the pads. Now these are numbers you're going to get from the data sheet. Uh, you're probably going to want to make the width of the pad about the same as the width of the pins. And you want to make the pads significantly longer than the pins themselves. This is because you want to make it easy to solder them by hand. So it depends on the size of the pins. You want at least a millimeter hanging out on the outside of the pins. And what I kind of do is a rule of thumb. This is not not a hard and fast rule, but generally I leave I make the pads four times the length of the pins so that I have one pin length on the inside and two on the outside. Um, now you can so this is how do you want to mark the uh, how, what, what shape do you want the pin. So I, I typically use the first pin is rectangular and all the others are round. So this is uh, how wide should the, the silk screen outline be, and that's fine. All right, so now this is, and again, information you're going to get from the data sheet. So this here, this is your pitch of 0 0.8. That's directly out of the data sheet. And this number you're going to have to calculate from the data sheet. And it is 2.625. All right, so we're going to do the standard pin numbering order. Um, this is a 64-pin chip, 16 per side. And I'm going to go ahead and label it Atmel 64A, which is a TQFP64. And we're done. Um, this is the footprint created by the wizard, and in our case, this happens to be the finished footprint. Oftentimes, you'll have to make some additional edits or changes manually, and you can do that just like any other editor. You can double-click and change pads and, and drag them around and so on. Um, another very useful thing is to, me to make measurements on here. So if you do Control-M, you can click and measure things like this. and It will tell you the distances. And um, this is extremely useful for for checking your work, basically, and make sure you you have it correct. Now this, this purple around the pad is the solder mask expansion. So essentially, this gray area in here is going to be solder mask. If And the solder mask is expansion is defined by your design rules. So if your solder mask expansion is wider, or your pins are closer together, you won't get any solder mask in between the pins, and that will make it much more difficult to solder. So we can go ahead and save this, and um, we're done with this tutorial.